Hi everyone, Alex here with Beam It Up. Today I'm going to show you how to create a new plumbing project in Revit MEP. We're going to be uh, using a plumbing template to create a new project. Then we're going to link our architectural model. I'm going to show you how to create and align your levels. We're even going to copy and monitor your architectural levels. We are also going to create some floor plans and also RCPs or reflected ceiling plans. See you in Revit. All right, so how do you start a new Revit model? It's the same thing for every discipline. So the first thing you do is you come here to File, New, and we're gonna create a new project. From here, we need to select which template we want to use. In our case, we would like to create a new plumbing model. So we don't see our template here. So let's go to Browse. And here we have Plumbing. Let's go to OK. And we just created our, our project, just like that. Now, the first step would be to link in our architectural model. So in order to do that, you would come here to Insert, then Link Revit and then we will browse to that location so here we go to uh, Revit models in my case you browse to whichever location you have your uh, architectural links located at uh, and in our case we're going to use this uh, arc link model we're going to keep the position as auto origin to origin that's the most common one And here it is. Now it's always a good practice to click on your model and pin it down so you don't move it accidentally. Let me now move my elevation marks uh, out of the way. Let me place this one here and this one. Let's place it here. And another good thing to do is you want to get your your link and go to edit type and you want to allow room bounding. This is gonna let you create mechanical spaces. We'll see we'll see the, the importance of those a little bit later. The next thing to do would be to take a look at our levels, our building levels. So let's open up our south elevation here and see what's going on. We can see that the architect has. See if I if I click on here, I'm selecting the architectural model. So anything that I see highlighted is coming from the architectural model. So they have level one, level two, level three. And they have some kind of level four here and a parapet. Uh, but our model, and these are our levels. See how I select them and I can click on them. Those are our models by default. Our template had two model two, two, two levels. So I'm gonna drag level two and level one from my model a little bit farther away so I can differentiate them. So notice that the architectural level it's a 12 feet, but our level is a 10 feet for level two. It, so let's go ahead and align those levels. I can hit the, sh the shortcut AL, click what I want to align to, and then click what I want aligned. So now I have those two levels at the same elevation. Now, the next thing to notice is that we don't have a level three or a level four. So let's go ahead and create, create those levels. Now notice that I could have aligned and locked that into place with the other level too, but I have to be very careful with that because sometimes architects move their levels and it can create a lot of damage in our mechanical or, or plumbing or MEP uh, model. So in order to avoid that, what you do is you use a feature that is called the monitoring option in which you're going to keep an eye on that level two and whatever happens to it, uh, we should get notified. So there are a couple of options here and you can explore them in uh, uh, another of my videos, uh, the um, 
HVAC, creating an HVAC project. Uh, that has uh, all the options and you can judge by yourself. But in this case, I'm going to show you my favorite option uh, to copy and monitor these levels. Okay. And as always, you'll find that link uh, down there in the description. So my favorite option for this is you go up here to collaborate, and then go under copy monitor. You hit here under select link, and then you make sure you're selecting the right thing. So if you hover over it, you find out that that's the architectural link. That's the one we want to select. So you click on it and then you make sure you we, we're gonna do uh, a copy monitor so we're gonna do two things we're gonna copy the architectural levels and then we're gonna monitor those architectural levels so first let's go to copy select multiple here because we have multiple levels that we want to copy so click multiple and we're gonna select level 3 and then I'm gonna hold my control key and I'm going to do level 4 which is the roof and then I'm going to fi partially finish the finish that you click is this one here don't go here you click on this one here and then what's doing it's bringing in the architectural levels to our model and now we have two new model two new uh, levels within our model but now notice that we're still within the um, the copy monitoring environment so what this is allowing you to do is right now you you are monitoring these two guys here right which you just copy and monitor but this two that came with the with the uh, out of the box with our template are not being monitored you see this little heartbeat icon here that's what telling what that's what's telling you that uh, we are monitoring uh, the architectural level so Let's go here to the copy monitor environment again in, in under this tab. And then we do now monitor. And we want to we want this guy to follow this guy. And we want this guy to follow this guy. And now if you click finish, we are all set. See if I click on level two, level two is monitoring the architects level 2 level 1 is monitoring the architects level 1 and the same thing for level 3 and level 4 so I just want to keep my levels aligned so I'm just going to bring it out here now if you ever wonder why these level heads are in blue and these are in white is because levels 1 and 2 have views already associated to them by default in our in our template those two levels had plan views associated to them but these new levels that we created level 3 and the roof don't have any views yet so let's create a couple of levels to see how this works you would go here under view and then under plan view let's create some floor plans and now it's telling me is giving me the option for level 3 and level 4 which are the only two levels in our project that don't have any views associated yet so yeah let's go ahead and, and create plan views for both of them so let's hit OK and then they came up like right here we just need to uh, rename those I actually like the names that start with the level better so I, I renamed level 1 plumbing, level 2 plumbing now I'm going to rename level 3 plumbing right I notice that now I'm getting this message that tells me would you like to rename the corresponding level and views now I'm going to hit no because I want to keep my view name however I want to I want to keep level 3 named the same so now this last level
I want it named like this. Now let's create some ceiling plans. We already have level 1 and level 2. So similarly we come here, we go to reflected ceiling plan and now we're going to create a ceiling plan for level 3. In our particular case, level 4 doesn't have a ceiling so let's not create it. So I'll do OK and there it is. It is created. Now I don't see it here under ceiling plans. What happened is that by default th this coordination subcategory was created and this is where I find my ceiling plan. So if I move my cursor all the way down here so if I look here under my properties palette this uh, subdiscipline here was left blank that's by default but if I click here and I put this under plumbing then immediately now this is under plumbing and also here this uh, discipline. I'm going to change it from coordination uh, to plumbing and you'll notice that now that subcategory coordination disappeared and I have everything under plumbing looking a little bit nicer. Now I just need to rename this and we're good to go. And that is how you set up a new plumbing model in Revit MEP. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it down there, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you get notifications. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.